What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and welcome to Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So, this is a newly released game on Steam. There have been a couple versions of it, and this is the most up to date version. And this is basically a dungeon crawler style of game. Uh, in a sense, think of it as the Binding of Isaac mashed up with like Dance Dance Revolution. So, there's a lot going on, it's extremely entertaining. I've uh, been putting in quite a bit of time into this. You know, really, really simple. You literally do everything with just your arrow keys. Hi. So up here we have uh, basic dungeon upgrades you can get. Here oh. we have different items that you can pick up that will appear in chests throughout the level. But right now there's four zones. On top of that, there's daily challenges, a bunch of different characters. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So right now we are playing with the most basic character. I believe it's Cadence. Let me check character select just to confirm that, and yes, it is Cadence, so I am remembering names now. So, today we're going to be bringing you guys Zone 1. So, this is relatively simple, as you can see. Um, basically, I need to move with the beat of the song, and you can see that with the uh, both the beats down below, and obviously you can hear it with the movement. So, I used a bomb right there, and... I'm gonna grab that pickaxe. So the game actually has a pretty awesome soundtrack all on its own. But one of the coolest things about this game is that you can actually add in custom music. So like when I was playing it the other day on stream, I had um, you know, I had uh, Capital Cities playing. I had another round where I was playing and had uh, Daft Punk going. crazy disco floor going on. There's a bunch of different weapons. Like right now we got a broadsword which has wide swings like that. So I can basically uh, hit stuff up to two squares. Like a square immediately in front of me and one that's also nearby. So like right now I can hit, you know, uh, basically in front, in front of me, um, above and to the left or above and to the right or in any direction for that matter. You can also see uh, we're able to dig through walls. Pickaxe I can get through the strong walls. We got diamonds. You gotta always save your diamonds. Your diamonds are for upgrades back when you're at like the central hub. Here's a tempo thing, these are interesting. As you can see it slows down the tempo. If you see uh, two arrows pointed the other direction. That speeds up the tempo. So I'm gonna let this Minotaur chase me down. That little skeleton boogie. Alright, that's 1-1. One, one. So now we're on to 1-2. Wow, I don't think I've ever dug this deep before. So that's the item room. If I had a bomb, I would blow up the walls if I did it before. Teleport on a hit, wider attack. I'm actually a really big fan of whips, but... Basically, they have uh, an attack very similar to the broadsword. Not the broadsword. I guess it's a great sword. I don't know. Let's see items. So right now, I'm pretty much digging, trying to find the blue key. It's usually in, somewhere in a wall nearby. It might not be though. I 
need a bomb right now. A well placed bomb, and I can get all the coins. Plus, I'm both of those up. And. Alright, screw it. I need to continue on. I'm not finding the blue key. Part of me wants to knock the boxes all the way over to that bomb, but... So I've actually only gotten past Zone 1 once so far. So we'll see how this goes. If I beat it, this will be my second time ever beating Zone 1. Ready to go to the boss. Death Metal! Awesome. This is the only boss I've been able to beat so far. coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Crypt of the Necro Dancer. So obviously, there's still three more zones to knock out. Now, as I mentioned, I had only beaten Zone One once prior to this recording. I actually can't believe I actually did it right there because I was playing this for about two hours straight on stream, trying to get past Zone One, 
And awesomely enough, it was also the death metal boss again, which is the only boss I know how to actually beat thus far. So obviously, after the match is done, you know, we got, um, we have three diamonds okay. now up here. These are permanent upgrades to dungeons. I've already picked up quite a few of those. Um, one being a health bar. There was also a coin multiplier I already grabbed, and the last one I don't remember what it was. Uh, but basically, in between rounds, you could go and spend. So you see, with the three coins, I could do standstill, increase damage, or long attack on the sword, and add those into basically the pool of items that can come out of the chest. Uh, you can go over here, train against the enemies. Over here, you can actually pay diamonds to remove stuff, which is pretty cool. You know, basically, as you cycle in better loot, you can remove um, item like shittier items from the item pool, which is cool. Over here in the codex, we have like lore and stuff going on. How's it going? The Beastmaster, we can train against bosses and mini bosses. Hi. And then up here, we have more stuff that'll show up in chests that we can buy. Freeze enemies, I'm meaning to pick up. I've heard that's really fucking good, so I'll actually do that. Either way, guys, that's going to be it for now. Uh, really, I just wanted to bring you guys the first zone of this, show you what this game is all about. I actually ended up breaking embargo with it. Um, accidentally the other night on stream, but it's a lot of fun to play, and it's really, really addictive, and then on top of that, like I said, the fact that you can go to custom music and start to like add in songs that you want to play with is totally badass. Um, so definitely a really cool game to check out. Uh, in terms of like a let's play, I will most definitely bring be bringing you guys Zone 2, Zone 3, and Zone 4 when I finally manage to get through those zones. So in the meantime, it might not be all that soon, because I'm definitely going to have to practice. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Definitely a really, really fun game, and I'd highly suggest checking this one out on Steam. So thanks for coming by, and we'll see you guys next time.